Hey, what's up, guys? Your average wargamer is back with another video of World of Warships, and today I have another video of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, my favorite carrier in World of Warships, and I would say probably I am, and I'm not saying it by bragging, uh, one of the best EU server players for this ship, and you will be able to see why I have called this a king of the sea when it comes to oppression and obviously the firepower that it has. And in this game, well, uh, we have five battleships, a couple of poor tier eights, and there is a Jinan that have a bit decent AA, but other than that, there's uh, nothing too special, nor they do have a lot of defensive AA cruisers, except one that I have talked about. And here I have a gameplay which will clearly show you that why I really, really dominate in this ship in basically every possible way that you can think of is obviously it's a it's kind of ridiculous against uh, battleships because it has really bad like chance to basically even able to dodge because I have talked about it many many times that uh, against battleship the FDR becomes pretty ridiculous and here there's one more <laughs> hilarious case that I just dropped the buffalo and basically chunked him for almost 10,000 and this is basically usually that you should do and easily bypasses not only the S Thunder defensive AA but also Izumu and there is also Jinan that got spotted with my plane so imagine dropping a buffalo super easy and there is basically sort of nothing that they able to do except to just get spotted and maybe uh, do nothing at the end so uh, there's that Malta who's I don't know why put the plane in front of me a fighter plane and then he's just dropping rockets uh, and a, in a really bad angle uh, kind of shows that uh, how good the players are in this game nowadays <laughs> and I'm just casually shooting now in his planes because obviously he is not he doesn't know what he's doing but anyways uh, I use the bombs I just basically press the F button I don't want to drop uh, the thunder right now just want to you know go and get the torpedoes uh, to do some damage and here you can able to see we have a couple of battleships and obviously the best thing about the FDR whenever you play that ship I would recommend you to do something that I'm gonna do here you saw that Ohio is a fully isolated target and I have a full squad that can basically literally obliterate him because this is the strength of FDR like you have the squad that can't be managed to get shot down by a single battleship cruiser or even a destroyer no matter how good AA is because FDR planes are just the most tankiest in the game uh, unfortunately in this case uh, I just didn't get enough uh, area to basically able to drop the Ohio perfectly and he probably only going to get two torpedoes. but that is pretty okay because the next drop will absolutely gonna smash him because well there's a lot of sea onto the left side of his hull and well this is basically a oh, like uh, Ohio's uh, troublesome time that he will deal again is that FDR he's pushing which he absolutely should not he should have already kited away once he saw the FDR planes fully isolated broadside into my torpedo bombers and I mean it has 70,000 HP taking damage against every single other ship out there and I mean it's just a matter of time before he will die because of you can clearly see what is happening right now a double <laughs> double flood as well so I drop this guy again and I will wait for that 25 seconds of duration that FDR sort of has a weakness people say that and I will quote this that people say that it's a weakness for me it's basically a strength because I able to just basically able to uh, reload my speed boost duration that you can able to see onto the left side where you can able to see the you know the carrier speed in knots so I'm just uh, filling that speed boost during that time and then coming up with another attack run and look at that he has only 20,000 HP left and what I have talked about this Ohio with three drops and one was a bad drop and look at that boom gone <laughs> so, so that guy in just a one and a half minute gone just like that eaten 17 torpedoes and he's basically my first victim and this is what you should have to understand whenever there is a good FDR player never <laughs> try to push which is very unfortunate I would say 
like uh, trying to saying that you should not push basically makes uh, uh, the game pretty much uh, sort of uh, sniping and you know very stale sort of gameplay and in this case well I decided to go against that gearing and unfortunately that was my bad drop if I would have aimed just a bit better I think he would have eaten three four, bo uh, four bombs because you can ha you have seen that dispersion that I got in the in the terms of gearing but that gearing is obviously overextended kill the gearing but he will die eventually because not only that he comes out of the smoke but he's getting farmed by Michelangelo which is a secondary monster dockyard ship that we can get right now so there is that on the other hand I saw there's a Jinan and well Jinan is definitely having a decent AA with defensive AFR so you have to be a bit careful that he pops it but he I mean his HP is pretty much low and at that time I was thinking let's just drop this guy and kill him before he able to disengage because that is very important and here a couple of bomb hits would be enough to kill that poor Jinan and now we basically managed to kill another cruiser after Ohio and that is very good then obviously I still have a half squad left so I can come and do the attack run against that S Thunder and remember one thing that absolutely you need to know whenever there is a battleship or cruiser with defensive AA I would say stay a bit careful because if you eat a single flak from that battleship or cruiser with defensive AA you are definitely going to have a lot of issue with your plane losses because there's a good chance that you will lose almost all the planes because defensive AA is that powerful and a lot of players I have seen doing mistakes that when they when the enemy team use defensive AA or in this case the battleship well they just not able to manage them you know uh, their planes to be able to dodge those flags and what happens is they in turn take massive damage and they will lose basically almost a full squadron I have seen literally 30 40 thousand damage from literally a single flag or a couple of flags and FDR planes getting shot down I have done that myself so I know that this usually happens here the game is seems to be pretty much obviously over because not only our A flank is super heavily pushing the B C area as well as there is obviously a C flank that is also completely compromised because of a couple of ships like Rhode Island and Michelangelo so this is basically almost over but the fun time begins and I mean I'm already doing great great damage to basically battleships and cruisers here I have this poor isolated Azumo that is basically up for the grabs and I mean what's gonna happen to this guy you already know Izumo usually is a very very easy target for FDR and in this case that is not an exception all eight torpedo hits and obviously whenever you hit all the torpedoes always a good chance that you get a flood which he damage control and I can understand he has 11,000 HP left I mean he was around 40,000 HP if I'm not wrong and now <laughs> I mean I can come up with another attack and literally able to kill him well he's doing a bit smart thing that I was absolutely not expecting he's trying to go in the middle of these two islands so that my torpedo bombers does not able to land because obviously they will hit the island but here well luckily there are two torpedoes that are enough to kill him so that poor Izumo actually did something very interesting and I was actually surprised <laughs> still died because <laughs> I mean eight torpedoes of FDR what he can do literally so yeah that's how it is and again coming back to the S center which again does have defensive AA uh, fortunate enough I think he didn't pop the defensive AA that early and that's also one of the biggest mistake that people do when they have defensive AA battleship is they just take a bit too much time to use defensive AA in this case when my planes gotten into the 3.5 kilometer aura then he popped the defensive AA and at that time you will not going to land a single flag that red strong ridiculously good flag oh, sorry flag that uh, FDR takes massive damage from but as gender didn't realize this and he was so late in this case I'm just pushing aggressively the port scar like Port Harsky I don't know how to call it uh, sorry if I mi mispronunciate that but I'm just dropping this guy because he's super close to me and I got five bomb hits so that poor guy taken again a massive damage 
Again, speciality of FDR, basically obliterate the target, especially when it is very close. In this case, just like Nakimov, the more you, you are close, the more you are devastating against any target that is pushing towards you. And FDR is no exception. Ridiculously insane alpha, alpha damage of torpedoes and bombs, and that 25 seconds of duration that you have, well, that does not matter, because once you relaunch your planes from the carrier again, it simply uh, is that you don't have to wait 25 seconds. It's basically literally around 10 to 15 seconds before you come up to the other attack, or you can even switch the squad from torpedo to bomb, from bomb to torpedo, to get the flood and then get the fire. If you get the fire, you get the flood. You understand what I mean, right? So you can do that, and FDR is amazing when it gets super close. Unless, I mean, you are completely risking yourself. It's pretty good that if you push your uh, FDR CV, and it will do just fine. In this case, well, there is that F, like S Thunder again, trying to push back, trying to do something for the team, and well, guess what happens? I try to get my fifth kill and get the Kraken so that at least I secure my achievement. So, <laughs> so here's that. And I mean, it's such a relaxing gameplay. <laughs> I mean, look at that. The enemy team has no chance. That's why it's a king of the sea, or I would say the king of all carriers. I love this over, over Malta. I love this over many, many carriers. And FDR is simply the beast. If you know how to play the ship, you are basically a monster that uh, can't be dealt with. And this is the unfortunate truth. But it is what it is. Well, here, somehow, I managed to mess up, and somehow that Massachusetts does have... Well, 13,000 HP, so I mean, I can farm a bit more damage, I guess, so, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, you have still a lot of torpedo uh, planes, and I mean, you still have a lot of bombs, so, and, and the Massachusetts is super healing, and now look at that 360 drop that I'm doing on that guy, can you see that, <laughs> can you see that 360 degree drop that I did, yeah, imagine <laughs> doing that, and now it's around 6 kilometer. So now, it's pretty easy to just get a very good bomb hit on that guy and just kill him. And I mean, that's what I'm gonna do here. And he's actually turning in, which basically gives me a lot of advantage. And drop this just the way I want to basically kill his 10,000 HP. And boom! 